Hi, I'm Dr. Patrick Abbey with the Maxillofacial Surgery Center in Tampa, Florida, uh, and providing in this video a brief overview of corrective jaw surgery or uh, what we term orthognathic surgery. Uh, this is a surgical procedure which is commonly utilized uh, in the present day for correction of severe jaw growth discrepancies. Uh, these can lead to a severe malocclusion or a bad bite relationship that is dysfunctional for a patient in their ability to chew or to eat. It uh, can also lead in the long run as well to severe dental problems and inappropriate wear on teeth and to TMJ problems or pain with jaw joint function. Uh, these are patients that is not a large part of the population but affects those where the growth discrepancy is so large that the bite problem that has been created cannot be dealt with simple orthodontics alone. Uh, this decision in terms of the treatment plan is typically one that is come in a, a conjunction or an association from the orthodontist uh, as well as our office and oftentimes the, your general dentist as well in deciding that this would be the most uh, appropriate or necessary course of action. Uh, the jaw surgery that's done will oftentimes inv involve either the upper or the lower jaw as a single procedure. It can be used to move the jaws in three dimensions in space, and so the jaws can be either brought forward for someone who had a lack of growth, can be reduced in someone who had an overgrowth, and it can be corrected for either midline problems where the jaw grew crooked to one side or another, uh, disturbing the bite, or problems vertically in terms of an excess of growth or, or lack thereof. So it really gives us, uh, with appropriate treatment planning, the right range to be able to restore the bite to normal uh, function and to normal position. And as well for these patients, it often will entail restoring appropriate balance to their profile and to their facial appearance. And sometimes it's, uh, it is a large change that can be accomplished in that degree as well. All of those things are taken into consideration while the treatment is primarily directed at restoring appropriate function, the aesthetic side goes hand in hand with that and, and is not ignored in any regard and is also just as important with the treatment planning. Uh, sometimes the surgery revolve, or involves uh, in operation which the upper and lower jaw will both be treated and that is done at the same time in the same surgical setting but requires surgery on the upper and lower jaw. Uh, this surgery is always accomplished with orthodontic phase of treatment in assistance with the surgery. Uh, the teeth will try to compensate for these growth problems and try to make up for that and that needs to be corrected with the braces as part of the treatment. Typically patients will be in braces for anywhere from 12 to 18 months prior to their surgery. The braces stay on during the course of the surgery being accomplished itself and then they have follow-up care with the orthodontist that can last anywhere from another 6 to 12 months after the surgery is done. So overall the treatment plan might involve even a year and a half to two years of, of overall treatment between the orthodontist and the surgery. The surgery is accomplished in a hospital setting, although with advances nowadays in both surgical techniques as well as anesthesia techniques uh, can sometimes be done on an outpatient basis where you go home the same day the surgery is performed. Uh, other times, uh, probably 95% of the time with our patients, it would involve a one night of an overnight stay in the hospital with you going home the day after the procedure is done. Uh, common misconceptions involve the fact of do I need my teeth wired shut, which you do not. Uh, patients nowadays we use rigid internal fixation, so there are small titanium screws and plates that you'll never be able to feel and that the bone heals right over and that stay in forever that are utilized to hold the jaws in the right position after surgery. This allows for us to not have to have the need of immobilizing the jaw by wiring your teeth shut after surgery. Uh, you will be on somewhat of a restricted diet, which would be discussed around the time of the surgery as far as getting back to normal chewing function. Uh, how much is this going to hurt is the other most common question. Uh, and pain is typically surprisingly low on the list of complaints after the procedure. Uh, you have some swelling, some congestion, but typically patients will feel that this is uh, on a, a rated scale almost 10 times less pain than compared to having tonsils out for patients who also had that surgery done in the past. So not as much as one would expect in hearing the description of the surgery. Uh, details of the surgery, advancements in technology, 
therapy techniques, anesthesia, what to expect, uh, and changes that would be there for individual patients would all be reviewed with the patient's consultation in our office and also in conjunction with the treating orthodontist. So please feel free to come in for a consult in regards to this type of surgery or contact our office and we'd be more than happy to discuss that. Thank you.